Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to create something like this. It's called a cinemagraph. It's very easy to follow and it's all done within Premiere Pro. Roll that intro. So before we begin, to make this easy for you to understand, uh, the concept of a cinemagraph is very simple. It's a still image where some of the image doesn't move and then a section of that image is a looping video. So it, don't, it doesn't work for everything, but it works for things like water, clouds, and, and movement that can't be looped without the viewer noticing that it's a loop. And that's where the cinemagraphs is so cool because it, it, it's like combining both things, a still image and a moving image or a video. Um, I'm gonna jump just in Premiere Pro and I'll walk you through. Very easy, it's very simple. Okay, now that we have a Premiere open, I'm just gonna cut to this screen recording. Let me just put this big. I have actually two monitors, but I'm only recording one, so you won't be seeing the big one, that one. Uh, let's just fit. This is what we're gonna be uh, creating today. You see that the water is moving and this part of the image is moving, but the rest is a fixed image. So you can loop this for an indefinite amount of time and the effect will continue going forever effectively. So in order to create the solution, we need to find an image, uh, like a clip that uh, has motion that can be looped. So like, like I said, water and smoke and clouds and all those things kind of work very, very good because there's a lot of movement, but you can't really tell single elements moving like an arm. It would be harder to do it with an arm, for example, but a bottle of water being poured or something like that, uh, it's very easy to do once you have kind of the right uh, framing. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna select an image and we're gonna select a section of that image, uh, preferably that has no camera movement. That's very important. For the cinemagraph to work, uh, you, you want an image which is not moving up and down in rotation or uh, changing angles because that's gonna make it very complicated to do. So once we have that loop selected, we're gonna get a, we're gonna focus on getting the section of the image that we want to uh, kind of loop around. Uh, in order for this to work, we're gonna create a few masks and uh, duplicate this layer. So the first thing we're gonna do is holding Alt, you're gonna click and drag down and then you duplicate that asset or that video file. We're going to go to the beginning and we're gonna add a frame hold. This effectively is gonna create a still image from our file. You see that the image is not moving anymore, you know? It's a still image now, the whole frame. So that's the bottom layer. With the top layer, now we're going to, sorry, I just deactivated that one. Now with the top layer, we're gonna do the first uh, bit that we need to do in order to create the cinemagraph. So we're gonna go to the opacity mask and I'm just gonna do a rough mask here. I'm just gonna put this smaller so I can see what I'm doing. And I am going to, probably not that one, I'm just gonna go a bit in here because I know the clouds come to this side and then this side and then this side and then this side. Actually, I might just move this selection to cover the mountain and I'll show you why in a second. So the clouds are actually passing here and creating shadows in the mountain. So I might actually want to use those uh, shadows in the mountains because it might look cool. You see the cloud shadows there that I was talking about? It looks very cool. So the first thing we can see is that this edge selection doesn't really work because we can actually see the selection. So what we're gonna do is hold this little yoke here, this little circle, and that's gonna feather our mask. So once we have that mask feather, it effectively blurs the edge of my selection. And that helps me sell the illusion. You see that? 
that's better a little bit better so i might actually push this a little bit deeper so my loop goes a bit deeper and i think i am happy with that that's for the sake of this tutorial obviously you probably should spend more time creating your mask just to sell the point easier okay i'm happy with that selection there i am now going to duplicate this layer one more time i'm going to turn this layer off just for the sake of this and i am going to delete that that mask that i created so we have again the full image so this one is off and the other one you can't see because you've seen this one in the top so we're going to go for the first one and now i'm going to select my pen tool with the opacity and i am going to select the water because i want the water movement to come across in my uh, in my cinemagraph i'm going to give enough space here so my mask uh, doesn't uh, touch the edge of the frame and that should be it and now we're gonna play that see that I'm happy with that I actually probably like that better than keeping the clouds and the image but it's up to you you can play around with it and do whatever you want in this case I'm gonna keep this okay so now we're gonna Turn back on, uh, I'm hitting Control E, oh sorry, Shift E to deactivate the layers that I have selected. But now they're all activated. So now we can see our effect. In order for this loop to work out, we are gonna select this. I'm actually gonna extend this yoke, the bottom one, which is the still image, basically. I'm gonna extend it all the way, so there's no, nothing here. So if you play it, sorry, if you play it, it's just a still image. And I'm gonna select my two layers, which are the ones that have the looping action, and I'm gonna hit, so select both, click and drag, and then hit Alt and drag, and see, it's duplicated. Then you can let go Alt. And I'm gonna do that again. Okay, so now we have our one minute long kind of looping animation so as you can see when the video repeats we can clearly see that there's a, a glitch in the loop so what we're gonna do to get rid of that is we're gonna select all of them shift D and we're gonna create a cross dissolve around all the clips that we have in our timeline and that's gonna give us that effect there we go very simple tutorial very easy to follow i might create something more complex uh, over the next few days i have a few ideas this is footage uh, we shot last weekend in the carry film festival so i said it looks cool why do i not do a tutorial uh, and help someone that wants to learn how to do cool things like this as always thanks for watching if you're new here consider subscribing hit that like button and if you have any ideas for future tutorials, let me know. I'll do them for you. Luis Cameraman here. See you next time.